Good afternoon fellow coin collectors, Coin Snatcher here with a quick update on the 50p collection. So if we have a little look at the uh, date run of bank 50p's, there's a couple that are missing in the uh, in the run. So when the Royal Mint recently released the dinosaur set, the first set they released, which had the three different coins in it, I got the first two, uh, the coloured and the non-coloured bank. Got the second two, coloured, non-coloured. And the third one I got the non-coloured one, but forgot to get the coloured one. So this is the Hyliosaurus coin. It was the last of the first set of dinosaur coins that uh, were released in 2020. So needed to get that coin and been keeping an eye out just on different places where to get it but over time I've actually forgotten about it so saw it on uh, Flea Bay the other night and thought well we'll have a go at this so I think I got this for £18 which uh, wasn't too bad a price and as you see it comes in the old Royal Mint bag with the the hanging bed on it so this the very last one, the Hyliosaurus coin, this is a limited edition coin, it was a Royal Mint special so you could only get it at the Royal Mint, you couldn't get it at the Westminster Collection or Coin Connection or any of that, the other coin suppliers. So 50p, uh, United Kingdom, Cooper Nickel, 8 grams, 27.3 mil, brilliant uncirculated, Jody Clark and Robert Nichols. And uh, I don't normally do this but... I want to have a little look inside this pack just to see what it's like. So bear with me for one second while I open it up. So the good thing with these Royal Mint packs is you can reopen them or you can uh, open them and then put the coin back in again and reclose them. So if we have a look at it, we'll get the camera up a bit closer to it. And there we go. Really nice coin that one too. Doesn't look to be any other marks on it apart from what's supposed to be there so uh yep the hyliosaurus sort of blue brown looking colors on it and again the little bits of a uh, fern and some other sort of plant up on the uh, side of it there so if we open this up and um, we've got some information inside we've got the Obverse of the coin with Her Majesty's Portrait by Jodie Clark. Bit of script around it, 2020. And if we open it up. So I have seen these opened up before by other people, but I haven't actually done it with any of the other coins. So I thought, well, what the hell, why not? So it's pretty cool the way they open up. I suppose you can have it like that. That makes for a pretty... A pretty good display so really happy with that uh, start collecting the second set of 50 P's that they released this year haven't started on that got got quite a few to go actually for the collection so have to knuckle down and start getting some more coins in but uh just while we're here behind me we'll see this uh red velvet set so this is from the uh, proof coin collection that I have which is Starts off uh, 1971 and goes up to the present day. Although I'm missing quite a lot of the uh, the most recent ones. So this is from 1996 and this is the 25th anniversary of uh, Decimalization Silver Proof Set. So if we just open it up and pop out the Certificate of Authenticity. And the coin collection contains special silver proof versions of the circulating range of United Kingdom coins to celebrate the 25th anniversary of decimalization. The coins are issued under the authorization of royal proclamations and have been declared legal tender in the United Kingdom. A maximum of 15,000 United Kingdom silver anniversary collections have been authorized for worldwide distrib distribution and the signature of Ardula Holmes, Deputy Master. So, number 11,160 and there's 15,000 sets in total and on the back of the card it gives a bit more information so the one pound has the Irish style cross in the ancient colour representing Northern Ireland 
that's the best coin in the set obviously because I'm biased uh, the 50 pence the seated figure of Britannia 20 pence the badge of England a royal royally royally crowned double rose the 10 pence part of the crest of England a lion pass on garden royal royally crowned the 5 pence the badge of Scotland a thistle royally crowned Two pence, uh, the badge of the Prince of Wales with its motto "Ichdian I serve," and the one penny, a portcullis with chains royally crowned. So each reverse reflects in part the history of the United Kingdom. The one pound coin is the work of Norman Silman. The twenty p is by William Gardner, and the remaining coins bear the designs prepared by the late Christopher Anderson at the time of decimalisation. The obverses of all the coins all bear the acclaimed portrait of Her Majesty the Queen by sculptor Raphael McClough. And uh, don't handle the coins. So, 15,000 sets. Uh, let's have a look. So, if we pop, if I believe it in. So, if we start off with the smallest coin, um, what I like about this set is you don't often see all the coins in silver unless you buy the year set. So, of course, in 2019, they released the 50th anniversary of Decimalization set, and they released like loads of different coins for that. But back in 1996, your choice was a bit more limited. So you had the one pence in silver. Very nice. And then you had the two pence in silver. And you do see these occasionally advertised on eBay as being error coins. Somebody has a a silver 1996 2p but uh this is where it came from if you do see one of those down in the bottom left corner you have the five pence and moving on the next coin in the top left hand corner is the 10 pence always thought the 10 pence with the lion with the crown was a a really smart looking coin really nice and then over to the 20 pence so again, silver proof, 20 pence, nice to have in the collection. And then the next coin is the reason we bought the set, which is the silver proof Britannia. Again, really, really nice coin. And then finally, we have the Northern Ireland one pound coin. So quite nice that the uh, Northern Ireland pound coin happened to be the coin that they used in this set. And if we flip the set over and with these Perspex cases they uh, they haven't tongued very much either so if we look at the back of the coins you got the 1p which still has a really nice proof finish and still plenty of luster on the coins 50p looks nice So with 15,000 of these, they're not rare, but I would imagine a lot of these sets are broken up and a lot of the sets you do see uh, for sale, the coins are very badly toned on it. But this set, for whatever reason, has fared very, very well. Uh, normally with these sets, the 20 P's seem to be the first ones to go and they can tone really, really badly. So touch wood, this one's okay at the minute. I've had it quite a few years and... Uh, very happy with it. So one of the nicer 1996 anniversary collection sets and with that you've got a little booklet, all change, 25th anniversary of decimal currency in Britain and all the information about pre-decimal coins, some of the older coins, Victorian florins. That was the first attempt at decimalization, they had a double florin. Uh, decimal so quite a bit of information in this little book there's all the signs that put up at the time of decimalization so everybody knew what was happening some people thought it was going to be a disaster but it went quite smoothly so the newspapers of the day Decimal diddlers, <laughs> the decimal revolution. If you think about it, it does make sense, doesn't it, to have a currency that works in base 10 
a hundred units to the pond. Oh, there's some of the trial 50 peas that were designed. Who is that? You see, you can see those in the Royal Mint Museum at uh, Clanforsant in Wales. A little bit more information, there's the possibility of around 50p. It's cool. Save our sixpence. I think that was one of Britain's favourite coins, the sixpence. And there's the, uh, the one pound note. I remember the one pound note from when I was young. It was about for a few years before taken out of circulation. There's a souvenir set from 1968, which I have one of those in the collection. Some more posters. A little bit more information about D-Day. Some of the stamps of the day. There we go. <coughs> the last of the, the old currency. So there we go. There's the uh, 50 sh 10 shilling note, the equivalent of 50 pence. Got a couple of those up in the collection as well. So that's cool. And again, one of the stranger presentation boxes. It's soft in the top and plush with the velvet. Really, really. I don't know whether it's really nice or like really gaudy and kitsch but uh i think i quite like it so we'll pop that back in and there you go guys the <coughs> the 1996 silver proof anniversary set so that's it for now i hope you enjoy the rest of the day coin snatcher art